everybody, this is Joe Payne uh, here with the Santa Maria Recreation and Parks Department, music instructor here, to give you a real quick piano lesson. Um, if you've always wanted to play but weren't sure how, this is the first step. This is the first introduction. A very important uh, thing when we approach the piano is something we call a five finger position. A five finger position. And what this is, this is a way of placing our hand at the keyboard and using each finger, including your thumb, one after the other, like this, okay? Now, the first thing we want to do when we approach the piano is make sure we're holding our hand correctly. And the way I tell all my students to do this, you start by making a circle with your thumb and your, uh, uh, your, thumb and your fingers, and line them up like that, you can see. I always joke like you're in an Italian restaurant, you want to tell them, Mwah! right? You have to have a circle with your thumb and your fingers, but you do want your thumb to be going out flat, okay? Because this is how we're gonna place it along the keys. Look closely, okay? So a C five finger position will look like this, and we wanna start our five finger position on C. Now, which note is C? Well, it's this white key. How do we remember that? Well, if you find the group of two black keys right here, C is the one just to the left of it, the lowest note touching the group of two. Also, D is in between the group of two. If you ever want to remember where D is, duh, it's the only one in between the group of two black keys, okay? So, with our rounded hand, thumb flat, and the rest of the fingers rounded, we have our five finger position and you can do thumb on C, pointer finger on D, middle on E, ring finger on F, and pinky on G. It's important when you go from thumb to pointer finger, you let the pointer finger lift the thumb up and you just relax your thumb. You don't need to bring your wrist up or your hand up, but you just let the finger bring the momentum of the thumb up and then the momentum of your middle finger will bring your pointer finger up and so on. You only want to play one note at a time right now. So you go up and down like this. C, D, E, F, G, F, E, D, C. And that's your thumb on C, pointer finger on D, middle finger on E, ring finger on F, pinky on G, and back down. Now, everything we do with our right hand, we can do with our left. But one problem, somebody put them on backwards. Just kidding. Anything we do with our right hand, we now have to do with our left backwards. So whereas we started with our thumb on C before, now we're gonna start with our pinky on C down here on the left side, the bass register of the piano. Your right hand plays the treble register, the higher notes. Your left hand plays the lower notes. So we start with our pinky on C, pinky on C, ring finger on D, middle finger on E, pointer on F, and thumb on G. Again, flat thumb, thumb in, curled fingers. Now, real quick, you can play a song that everyone knows with this five finger position. Really quick, you're not always just gonna stay to these notes. Sometimes you're gonna reach up or down, or maybe with your pinky up here. So that's G to A, G to A. So watch this song. Two C's, two G's is how you start. See if you recognize it. Pinky up to A, back to G, and now each finger in the five finger position. Back to pinky. Again, same thing. Back to the first thing we played. You see that? And once you could do this with both hands, right hand thumb on uh, C, left hand pinky on C, you can play them both together. This takes a lot of work and a lot of time. Once you do, you do it slowly, deliberately, and repeat, repeat, repeat. This is the step one to being a piano player, is learning your 
five finger position. So good luck with that, the five finger position. Don't forget the circle, keep it round, uh, and the thumb flat and the fingers uh, curled and round like that. So that's how you become a great piano player. Thanks for watching.